today I'm gonna try something. I think I may have fixed this one time a long time ago, but I have this rack of ribs. And of course I always buy them when they're on sale. I don't ever pay regular price for them. So all I'm doing here is pulling that membrane out the back. A little slimy piece, I'm pulling it off. Y'all are so hot, this is cold water and it's actually kind of feel warm. So what we're going to do today, these are baby back ribs. We're going to take these and deep fry them and eat them with some fries. That's what I'm cooking today. This is not something that you want to cook a lot. But for me, I'm just trying to find different things to cook because I'm tired of the same thing over and over. Chicken, hamburger, shrimp, chicken, hamburger, shrimp. So I haven't done, well I've done pork in a while, but I haven't done the ribs. So all, I'm just going to take and cut. And all you do is cut between the bones, and I'm going to cut each bone. And I just think baby backs are better for this, because they don't have a lot of fat, and they got that big bone. So I'm just taking and cutting these, and they're easy to cut because you just go right in between the bones. Okay, I'm going to finish cutting all these, and I'll be back to show you how I'm going to season them and all that. Basically, you're going to season them just the same way you season chicken, but I'm just going to do a little extra to it so we can tenderize that beef. I mean, I'm sorry, that pork. I'll be back. Okay, so the seasons I'm going to use is accent, garlic and onion powder, salt, Tony seasoning, black pepper, and on top of the black pepper, I have the cayenne pepper. We're going to use that. And also, I'm going to let this with my pork for a tenderizer and also just to help with the uh just i just do this with my pork i'm going to also soak it for a little while with the vinegar and um when we get through with that we're going to just do this like we do fried chicken we're going to bread it and put it in the deep fryer okay so to the ribs i'm going to add a little hot sauce not very much Just a little regular salt. Not very much of that either. The tone of seasoning I always use. Garlic and onion powder. A hit of cayenne pepper. I like this rotisserie chicken seasoning and I think it'll be okay on pork. And I'm gonna also use a little celery salt. I found that when you're frying chicken, of course, I haven't used it on pork chops, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here. And so all we're gonna do is just mix all this together and then we're gonna coat it in our flour, same as you do chicken, and we're gonna fry it. So I'll be back when I start frying. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna start frying. And you don't wanna crowd this. Excuse my dryer. Fire on 350. This is my very first batch. Probably do about five pieces, I guess, at a time. You don't want to crowd it. 
can get one more. And so we're going to let this go probably for about 10 to 12 minutes. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like. But yeah, we were able to add five pieces in there. Do that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I take it and place it on the strainer. So the rest of that grease will actually fall down into that napkin on the bottom of here. And this is what it looks like, y'all. This one does look real good and crunchy. <laughs> okay, so this is our first batch. Have it sitting right there. This is what they look like. So here's my son's plate here. I was going to make a salad, but the lettuce I had is gone bad, so I'm not going to worry about it. But um, here are the ribs fried. They're real crispy and they're actually tender. And I think what helped them, I did soak them in vinegar for about five to ten minutes. And um, so that's his plate. Enjoy your day. Be blessed.